Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you one of my Christmas table ideas. So I'm doing two tables this year, one for Christmas Eve and one for Christmas Day. Today I'm going to share with you the Christmas Day table idea um, because it's just small. So Christmas Eve is going to be a big table. Uh, this is just for like a small intimate Christmas day and um, yeah we've gone for green, gold, white, there's a, a tree theme going on. Um, so without further ado, I'll just show you the table and then I'll talk you through what I've done. So here is the table layout that I've created so far. Bearing in mind this is a work in progress. I've still got some areas that I can fill. So if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. I'm all ears. But so far I've created some little things with my Cricut which I'll share with you in a second. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Cricut and today I'm gonna to share with you what I have created using my Cricut Joy only. Um, so I've created some little snow on the glasses, I've done some Christmas trees, I have done some tags, um, yeah, and I've done them of an evening when I've got a spare hour when I'm watching the telly. And it's just to show that you could use your Cricut any time of day you can get creative any time so i've vlogged those sections so without further ado let's cut to those and then join me back and um yeah i'll show you in depth the table well hello welcome to evening number one where i want to spend an hour every evening doing a little bit of crafting towards the christmas table tonight i'm going to focus on some christmas glasses and i'm going to keep it very simple i want just a simple snowflake on each glass so I've got a pack of here I've got a pack of six glasses that I want to put a little snowflake on so as always I've gone into my Cricut design space and I'm just going through some snowflake images and I want to find a very simple one that I can just add and start a new project let's go through them and see which one I like. I quite like that one. Okay, I like this one, so let's add that one. Okay, let's move it around and make it the size that I want. Right, so in terms of sizing, how I see if it's the right size, I mean, I'm probably doing this completely wrong, but this is just the way that I do it. So I go to confirm as if I'm gonna make it. So on mat, confirm. And then it shows you the mat and that's the size that I've got to work with. So I know that that, because I want six of them, do, 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 like that, it's going to be the right size that I want for the glass, if that makes sense. I'm probably not making any sense, but you know. So I know that's the right size now, so I can now duplicate this five times. So one, one, two, three, four, five. So, I should be able to line them all up now. Okay, that's all done. Right, now all I need to do is get my paper. Okay, everything is all lined up and ready to go. I've got my vinyl ready. I'm using this shimmery gold for the glasses. And then I'm using my Cricut Joy. So, usually I would use my Explore 3 machine, but got a little Cricut Joy that has been a joy. <laughs> this machine is just perfect for the little projects that I want to do for the table. Um, now obviously I will use uh, my other machines for different things so like you know my heat press I'll use when I want to do things like fabrics, cushions, Christmas cushions, that kind of thing. Um, but for little, little projects, especially for the table and tableware, this is just perfect. So let's load up load up the paper okay we are ready 
So press go, go. So there we go, six snowflakes all cut and ready to be weaved and put onto transfer tape, ready to go on to the glasses. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do that in front of the telly because it's that easy, guys, it's that easy. You can sit and watch telly and do some crafting. <laughs> Okay, so my snowflake glasses are done. Now I'm gonna do a design on some wine glasses. So I got these wine glasses for 50p each from Asda. So what I'm thinking for these is I'm gonna put some snow on them, like little snowballs all the way around. Maybe the bottom and the top or maybe the middle? No, probably the top. Or maybe the bottom, no, the bottom. The bottom <laughs> so just like with the snowflakes i've just gone on to cricut design space i typed in um snow and then i found an image and then i have put it to the size that i want and then if i show you look i duplicated it so i've put two in a row so it gives me double the amount of snowflakes so i can either snowflakes snowballs so i can either wrap it right around the glass or i can just pick and choose which snowballs I want on the glasses. Okay, so I've made three different size snowballs. So I've got, I don't know if you can see there, some tiny ones, some medium sized and some large. And I've cut them, cut them into bits so I can Put each one onto the cup and I can sort of place them where I want them to be so transfer tape time and let's transfer these well let's weed these off and then transfer them onto the glasses <laughs> Okay, the lighting is terrible now because it's night time, but, and dinner is ready. <laughs> um, but this is when I tend to do my crafting at night time when I've got a spare hour or so, or while I'm watching the telly. Uh, anyway, glasses are done. All different variations of sizes of snowball on all of my wine glasses. So I'm very pleased with those. So two projects done in two evenings, two lots of glasses, done. Do I do one more tonight? I think we can fit one more in tonight. I wanna to do my Christmas trees. Let's do one more tonight. So I've seen these 3D pine trees. I actually like both designs. The layered pine trees look cool, but I think we're gonna go for these ones here, just the plain ones. Okay, so I have tinkered about with them a little bit and I've added them to my projects, which by the way, if you're interested, all of the projects that I featured in this vlog here, also the, the items that I created for the um, Cricut Home Makeover will appear under my Cricut Design Space um, projects, which is just under my name there. So if you like the look of anything, you can uh, go and find them there. Anyway, right, I've tinkered about a little bit. I've resized them. Um, to the size that I want, so let's get cutting. <laughs>
So I've just cut some more trees out. This is just an image from the image stock on Cricut Design Space. You just type in whatever you're looking for really. So I just typed in Christmas tree, found this very simple one. And um, yeah, these are gonna be uh, the names, name tags, the card holders for the table. Card holders? Yes, yes, you know what I mean. the table so far so firstly i'll talk about the wine glasses that i modified so we've got snowballs at the bottom and then the little cardboard trees i've put inside it kind of makes it look a little bit like a snow globe i think and then these glasses here there are the glasses with the gold snowflakes on and then here are my little napkin holders so the little trees that I cut out and then I used the Cricut Joy metallic pens to write our names on. These are actually curtain curtain rings. If anybody remembers I did a little haul and I, um, I got some curtain rings and I said that I was going to use them for napkin holders so that was my vision. Uh, this is just obviously a paper napkin but you can use like um, fabric napkins. I think fabric napkins would look nicer actually and I might get some green ones. I don't know. I'm thinking I might put something here, so I might um, iron something on here, like a pattern. Um, but yeah, still a work in progress, but so far I'm happy with it, with what I've created over the past few nights. So there we go, those are just a few of the ideas that I've done over the past few nights, just a little bit of time here and there. And it just goes to show that even if you're having a small intimate Christmas, you can still make it look pretty. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with what I've created so far. Table number one, I've got to do and design. Uh, and yeah, like I say, any other suggestions that you have, leave me a comment for this table and I'll incorporate them and I'll add them in a vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with Christmas day table that's all done the planning's done have got my placemats that i was on the hunt for for ages that's what i wanted them for for this for this look um so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this type of video and i will see you guys in the next one i'll see you soon bye